Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports with the uncertainty surrounding Saquon Barkley's future with the New York Giants. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, is Eric Gray, their rookie running back, the future starter for the New York Giants? Not only that, but what will Eric Gray do in his rookie season? So Eric Gray was the 172nd pick of the NFL draft this season in the fifth round for the New York Giants. Eric Gray was actually a phenomenal high school football player. Not only was he a top 100 prospect for his graduating class being a four-star recruit but he was the three-time Tennessee Titan Mr. Football winner meaning he basically was the best football player in high school in the state of Tennessee for three years in a row from his sophomore year to his senior season. And in those three high school seasons, he totaled 7,901 yards, absolutely incredible rushing stats for Eric Gray in high school. And he was a huge recruit get for Tennessee. Now, sadly for Tennessee, he transferred to the University of Oklahoma in 2021. And in 2022, in his true senior season, he got a significant opportunity and he really took that opportunity and ran with it. As in 2022, he put up 1,300. 66 rushing yards on 11 touchdowns and he actually looked really good in the receiving game as well putting up 33 catches for 229 yards and he ended up being second team all big 12 this past season. So now let me dive into Eric Gray's strengths, weaknesses, and tendencies in order to get a bit of a pro projection for him and stay tuned for this video as I really like my pro comp for Eric Gray. Eric Gray really has jack of all trait, master of none potential in the NFL, but if that did not get you excited, he has two skill sets that to me, in my opinion, right now are above average, and he has one more skill set that he can become above average at, which really does get you excited about his projection going into the NFL. So those two abilities that I'm alluding to that he's above average at one is his cuts. His cuts are outright phenomenal. As you can see in this video, his jump cuts are very sudden yet very explosive, which consistently gets defenders off guard at the college level. And in the NFL, I absolutely see his cuts really translating as he's very decisive and he's consistently making guys at all levels miss with his really nice jump cuts. Then the second ability I see that he's above average at right away in the NFL is of course his receiving skills. He really looked good in college, even at Tennessee, but especially at Oklahoma. He showed really nice, soft, consistent hands and he accelerates very quickly. So if he's getting guarded by a linebacker, he's consistently going to burn them, especially if he gets the ball behind the line of scrimmage. He's really good at that one cut ability of bursting onto the second level of the defense in the receiving game game. And then that area I see that is about average at the moment, but I think could get well above league average is his vision. I actually really like his vision at the first level of the defense, meaning once the play starts and he needs to read the play between the offensive and defensive line, his first level vision is very good. It's his second and third level vision, meaning the linebackers and the secondary, the safeties. It's an area he slightly needs to improve in. Now he definitely shows the ability at college at times in flashes to have really good second and third level vision but on a snap to snap basis this just wasn't there in college that's something I definitely think with some NFL coaching he can get better at though he's a guy who has pretty solid contact balance as well he's not someone who necessarily will go down with arm tackles especially with that really nice spin move that he does display that will get him a couple extra yards even when he's about to go down he will spin into contact which will result in about two or three yards extra that he gained on the play. Now, something that somewhat concerns me about Eric Gray is his lack of play strength and really him shying away from contact. A lot of times I often saw on his film, he would go sideways into contact instead of being head on into contact, which definitely resulted in some yardage being left on the table for him to grab and he did not grab it, considering he would somewhat shy away from contact. This is something, again, that is going to need to get coached into him at the NFL level, but he definitely should showed some flashes at Oklahoma and at Tennessee of not shying away from contact, but more often than not, it seemed as though he would go down pretty quickly if a good linebacker sized him up. 
He definitely has good enough speed for the first and second level of the defense, consistently churning out 10 to 15 yard gains at the college level, but he's not someone with this insane home run ability. He's not that fast in the open field. He did run a 4.6240 yard dash time at 5'10", 210 pounds, which is nothing special, but it's nothing that I'm not concerned about. I see a lot of people being very concerned about his speed. I'm definitely not concerned about it. Is he going to be some home run hitter at the NFL level. No, he's not, but he's sure as hell fast enough to be a consistent good running back in the NFL. All in all, I really like his spin move. I really like his jump cuts. His vision is very promising and he looks really good as a receiving back. He just has a below average physical profile in terms of his strength and in terms of his speed and acceleration, though he has pretty solid acceleration as well. My pro comp to him is going to be another former New York Giant running back and that is of course Ahmad Bradshaw. Very similar skill sets going into the NFL as these jack of all trait, master of none guys, these scat backs, these third down guys that came into the NFL as a role player, as a backup running back. But then a couple years into Ahmad Bradshaw's career, he was actually a starter for the New York Giants and unexpectedly churned out a couple of thousand yard seasons. Now, I will note that Eric Ray is 24 years old in his rookie season. He's 23 at the moment. And Ahmad Bradshaw was much more young. And I think Ahmad Bradshaw overall was a slightly better prospect than Eric Gray coming into the NFL. Nonetheless, these are guys who come into the NFL as backup running backs that really do have a real potential to be a starter. So I was going into this video and into his film watch thinking Eric Gray was going to be a career backup, but I was very pleasantly surprised. I really do think he has potential to be a solid about league average starter in the NFL. NFL, which is really solid, which is really good for the running back position. Thanks for listening, guys. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on Eric Gray? And do you agree with my take that he will have a bit of a career arc like Ahmad Bradshaw?